Hello, welcome to Marine Basics. I am Marine Engineer Gifon Seca. This video is about basics of marine diesel engines cylinder line wear. Okay, wear and will occur when metal to metal contact in sliding surfaces. Line of wear will occur when piston rings and line of contact each other. Proper hydrodynamic lubrication avoids the metal to metal contact. So, hydrodynamic lubrication is mainly depends on 1. Viscosity of the lubricating oil, clearance between two metal, and relative motion between two sliding surfaces. This means speed. When there is no hydrodynamic lubrication, only boundary lubrication will occur. Line of wear can be categorized to two main categories. One, normal line of wear. Second, abnormal line of wear. So, now we understood what cause of wear and what cause of hydrodynamic lubrication. Let's move on to cylinder line of wear. Normal line of wear. As you can see in this diagram, the highest wear rate is at the top of the liner below the position of the top piston ring at the TDC which means upper part of the line and there is slight increases in the wear rate as the piston rings pass over the scavenge port bars which means lower part of the cylinder line okay now we will look what will speed up the line where at TDC and near the scavenge ports Cylinder liners will wear with normal use. The wear tends to be greatest at the top of the line. Firstly, ring pressure. At the top of the liner, just after TDC, the gas pressure is at highest, which forcing the rings hard against the liner wall. This will tend to squeeze out the lubricating oil film. As you can see in this diagram, when the gas pressure is higher at the top dead center. Force from piston rings to the liner is higher, which disturb the hydrodynamic lubrication at the top dead center. Secondly, liner temperature. The liner surface temperature is at the highest at the top of the cylinder nearly 190 Celsius, which will cause to reduce cylinder lubrication viscosity hence reduce hydrodynamic lubrication thirdly piston ring speed at the top and the bottom of the stroke the piston speed is slow this means that the lubrication is boundary means that impossible to perform hydrodynamic lubrication so where will occur there will be slight increases in the wear rate as the piston passes over the scavenge port bars or two stroke engines due to the lubrication oil being blown out of the ports. A reduction in surface area and a return to boundary lubrication as the piston slows down. That means when the piston comes from TDC to BDC near to scavenge ports, cylinder oil in that area blown out to the scavenge space, so disturb to the hydrodynamic lubrication locker. Those are methods of normal line wear which normally occurs in cylinder liners. I have put the normal wear rates in large two stroke engines and medium speed four stroke engines. Okay, that's it for the cylinder liner normal wearing. I hope you learned something about it. Now let's move on to the next topic which is abnormal line wear of cylinder lines. There are three main form of abnormal line wear. One, corrosion which can lead to claw leaving. Two, abrasion wear. Three, micro seizure also known as scuffing or adhesive wear. Corrosion. First we will see some couple of important definitions to understand what cause to line corrosion. What is corrosion? Corrosion is the deterioration of a material as a result of its interaction with its surrounding. 
what is acidic corrosion acidic corrosion is a gradual destruction and wearing away of a material due to acidic compounds present in the environment in a cylinder liner cylinder acidic corrosion takes place on cold liner surface which is called cold corrosion now from where the acids come from and contact with the line let's see residual fuel contains sulfur when sulfur burns sulfur oxides are produced which mix with the water present in the intake air or produced from the combustion of the hydrogen in the fuel form sulfuric acid if the acid then deposits on the liner surface of the liner corrosion will take place for the acid to deposit on the liner surface the temperature must drop below its dew point this is a simplify of liner corrosion process to memorize for example a common form of acid attack is referred as flow leafing this is where the rate of corrosion of the liner surface increases as the circumferential difference from the injection point increases this is because the oil film thickness and refreshment rate tends to decrease the further away from the injection point the oil gets as per the diagram we can see that acid attack and corrosion take place where the lubricators absent because cylinder lubricators inject cylinder oil which has tbn will neutralize against the acids but sulfuric acid formation is way higher when it occurs it is mistaken to think that the alkalinity of the injected cylinder oil will neutralize all the acid deposits okay now we will look about abrasion wear of the cylinder line abrasion wear is the wear caused when hard particles get between the ring and the liner and act like miniature cutting tool removing the material from ring and line from where these hard particles come in fuel oil catalytic fines are particles of silicon and aluminum oxide those are carried over from refinery soot from poor combustion ash from combustion of the cylinder oil this ash meet the new oil and form a paste carbon build up on the top land of the piston now you can see how the abrasion wear damage to the liner surface microcesia scuffing or adhesive wear microcesia caused by lack of lubrication normally surface of piston rings and cylinder liner are not smooth when we look from microscope it will show as a corrugated surface this helps to lubricating oil to adhere to surface when there is a lack of oil the peaks rub against each other and the localized heat generated by the friction causes the surface to weld together then break apart as the surfaces tear apart small pieces detach and cause abrasion in the line as you can see the corrugated surface in the line when there is a lack of lubrication metal to metal contact will happen means because of metal to metal contact will generate heat and localized weld occurs on corrugated tips and piston rings so abrasion will occurs when moving Okay that's the end of the video hope you enjoy it and learn something so please share your ideas in comment section please do subscribe to my channel like and share with your friend thank you very much